This is day 28 of our 30 day countdown towards the further maths level two GCSE. And yesterday's question was asking you to use matrix multiplication to show that a reflection in the x axis followed by a reflection in the y axis is the same as a rotation of 180 degrees. So a reflection in the x axis, the matrix we'd use for that is going to be 1, 0, 0, negative 1. A reflection in the y axis, is going to be negative 1, 0, 0, positive 1. And finally, a rotation of 180 degrees is negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Now, when we do one transformation followed by the other, we're actually going to do the order, the opposite way to you think. So as this one was done second, we will do our matrix, matrix multiplication with this one first. And the same thing the other way around here. So this will become second. So let's work that out. So we're going to do top row by left hand column for top left. So we're going to have negative one times by one plus zero times by zero. We want top right, so we're going to do top times by right. So we're going to have negative 1 times 0 plus 0 times by negative 1. We want bottom left, so bottom and left. So we're going to have 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0. And finally, if we want bottom right, we are going to have, uh, that would be 0 times 0 plus 1 times negative 1. Now, if it's a show that question, we must have this matrix here. It shows someone reading our work that we know what we're talking about. So we've got negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1, plus 0, negative 1. We've got two additions where we've got some zeros in, so that'd be 0. Same thing there. And we've got 0 plus 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. And this is a rotation of 180 degrees. So today's question is two points A, which is 4, 7, and C, which is 12, 19, lie on the line. B lies on the same line, but in the ratio of AB to BC is 3 to 5. Work out the coordinates of B.